Today, we're taking another look at the history of Voltron with the Voltron Force pilot starting with Pidge, so stay tuned. This is the story of the Super Force of Space Explorers. Specially trained and sent by the Alliance to bring back Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Voltron. Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Gen TV, where all geek culture collides. And if you're new to the channel and want to geek out with us on a regular basis, where we talk about all things geek culture from comic books, toy reviews, Funko Pops, movies, and TV show reviews, as well as much, much more, then please consider subscribing so you can stay up to date on all our content. For the purpose of this video, we're focusing on the history of the pilot of the Green Lion in Voltron Defender of the Universe, Voltron the Third Dimension, Voltron Force, and Voltron Legendary Defender, as well as the comics. According to Devil's Due Publishing Comics, Pidge's real name is Daryl Stroker, and throughout each of the Voltron incarnations is the genius of the team. In the original American version of the show, Voltron Defender of the Universe, Pidge has a twin brother named Chip, who became one of the pilots of the vehicle Voltron. The two brothers were orphaned at a young age, and when a couple wanted to adopt Pidge, he refused unless they adopted Chip as well. The two were born on Earth, but grew up on the planet Balto. Later, long after Pidge had become the pilot of the Green Line, he would become emotionally distressed after responding to a distress call from the planet he grew up on. It's revealed the planet would explode due to a trap laid by Prince Lotor. Pidge is the only Voltron pilot whose suit matches his line and color and his helmet lacks a built-in visor in order to accommodate his glasses. Pidge's last name of Stoker was actually a tribute to Devil Do's writer Dan Jolly's grandmother. The relationship between Pidge and Chip was completely original to Voltron, whereas Beast King Goline and Armored Fleet Dayrogger 15 were originally completely different shows. Chip is a member of the air team in Vehicle Voltron and is the youngest member of the team. He flies the advanced recon helicopter number four and becomes the upper left arm of Vehicle Voltron. In Devil's Due Publishing Comics, Pidge and Chip met for the first time and deduced they were brothers rather than being raised together. In the Voltron Defender of the Universe continuity, the only way to tell the two brothers apart other than clothing is that Pidge's hair is longer and curly while Chip's hair is short and straight. The vehicle Voltron and Lion Voltron appeared together in only three crossovers during the Defender of the Universe timeline. During the final episode of Lion Force, in the Vehicle Voltron debut, Letters from Home, and the Fleet of Doom special. In the Nicktoons show, Voltron Force, Pidge is the technological genius who pilots the Green Lion and his Volcom weapons are smart stars, similar to ninja stars. As a member of Galaxy Garrison, his rank is Tech Sergeant in the series. In Defender of the Universe, Pidge has brown eyes, while in Voltron Force, his eye color has been retconned as green. Also in Voltron Force, his adoption has been retconned, and he and Chip were natural-born Boltons. As well as descendants of ninja scientists, and the planet itself had never been destroyed and was made of technology. Soon, Pidge would retire as pilot of the Green Lion, and pass piloting duties on to Vince, one of the three cadets who joined the Voltron Force. In Netflix's Voltron Legendary Defender, Pidge has been retconned as being a female in disguise and the only female on the team until Allura becomes the paladin of the Blue Lion. In this incarnation of the character, her real name is Katie Holt, but is originally introduced as Pidge Gunderson with a home planet of Earth. Pidge's father and brother were lost on a mission to Kerberos, which is a moon of Pluto, alongside Shiro. Refusing to believe the official report of their deaths by pilot error, Katie began her unrelenting search for her missing family. After being discovered hacking into Galaxy Garrison computers, she was escorted off the property and forbidden from ever returning. To further her investigation, she went undercover as a Galaxy Garrison cadet by the name of Pidge Gunderson and cut her hair and donned glasses to disguise herself as a boy. Infiltrating the Galaxy Garrison, she wound up assigned to a team with Lance and Hunk. Later, Shiro accompanied Pidge to a dense forest planet where the Green Lion was hidden and it accepted her as its paladin. In this series, Pidge's brother's name is Matt, not Chip, and is older than her, not her twin. Matt is also a member of Galaxy Garrison. It's also revealed that Pidge's birthday is April 3rd. She's 15 years old and Italian. Pidge would also go on to appear in multiple comic book lines in 1985, modern comics, 
an imprint of the now defunct publisher Charlton Comics, released a three-issue miniseries, which doesn't contradict or diverge from the Voltron Defender of the Universe animated series. Then appearing in Dreamwave Comics in 2003, followed by Image Comics also in 2003. Devils Do Publishing from 2003 to 2008, Dynamite Entertainment from 2013 to present, and Lion Forge Comics from 2016 to present, which is based on the Netflix and DreamWorks Voltron Legendary Defender series. Now it's time. Let's go back to the source material of Beast King Go Line. I won't go too far into detail here as I'm not very knowledgeable of that series. In the series, the pilot of the Green Lion, and excuse me if I'm mispronouncing this, is Hiroshi Suzuishi, who's nicknamed Shorty. He is the youngest and smallest of the team and is 12 years old. Hiroshi graduated from the academy at a young age with a specialty in science. He is trained in martial arts and uses his size and agility to his advantage. He's also not afraid to speak his mind, especially to villains. As of November 2016, Universal Pictures has acquired the film rights through their acquisition of DreamWorks Animation. They have commissioned David Hayter to write a script, but have not committed to making the picture. Further decision making will occur when the first draft is completed. In the original Go Lion series, the character was voiced by Masako Nazawa. The Defender of the Universe had him voiced by Neil Ross, Billy West voiced Pidge in Voltron The Third Dimension, and during the short-lived Voltron Force series on Nicktoons, he was voiced by Sam Vincent. Most recently, in Netflix's Voltron Legendary Defender series, Pidge is voiced by Bex Taylor Klaus, who also had guest role in CW's Arrow and a starring role in the first two seasons of MTV's Scream. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Voltron Origins right here on Comageddon TV where all geek culture collides. If you want to stay up to date on Voltron and all things geek culture, please subscribe to the channel and leave us a comment below to give us your thoughts. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV. Take care.